to talk about summertime. Summertime is right around the corner, and you know what that means. Beach. What the? What the hell is this? It's pretty, it's pretty cool music, I guess. I don't know what it is. Oh my god! Oh, look who it is! Oh my god! Oh, no way! Geez. It is our old buddy Cockstrong. What, what are you doing here? Yeah, how's it going, guys? It's a long time to see. <laughs> you know, I, I think you've been on the show once before when I was here, and like once or twice when I wasn't here. This You've got to be the most repeat guest on the show. It, it, it's been a long time since I've been on the program. Thanks for having me. I guess you really didn't have me. I just showed up. <laughs> you did just, I w- and I wouldn't have you. Just, <laughs> hey, you want to see something really cool? I really do. Hey, watch this. You're vaping what appears to be Blake's vape, and he has hep C, so now you have hep C. And now you're breathing through mm. your luchador mask. Very it is cool. Isn't that cool? Who, who, gonna... who, who's my pr- who is this? Yeah. This is Cockstrong. What is your name? Cockstrong. 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 This is intern Heather. Hi. hi. hi, hi and hi. right across from here, you got Big E. Big E. How's it going, buddy? Pretty good. You're not really you're not really that big. <laughs> He's big enough for you. Yeah. <laughs> Size E. I mean, that's pretty big. That's funny. <laughs> I'm going to pull from my mental safe of information about Cockstrong. Is that okay. cool? Yeah, sure. You, Like I said before, I think you have the most appearances on this program over any other guest we've ever had. Yeah, I think this is my third time. I think Okay, third. Episode and uh, one, nine, 99 and 120. Okay, wow, that's pretty mm, rock yeah, solid. Very memory. specific. Thank yeah. you. Well, it's, it's pretty much the biggest thing that's ever happened in my professional career or wrestling. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad, <laughs> Cockstrong. Hey, did you hear this? What is it? That's my new intro. It's pretty badass. I, I can't. Normally yeah. I'm a liar, but I can't lie here. To the exp- is- I have everything that you need in an intro. I've got. Count them down. You, I've got one. I've got the, the, <laughs> the quick, out of the blue rooster crow because it's cockstrong. Yeah. Got, got then, with a bang. Then I, the second I have a big explosion. Yeah. So, so fire can come up Very and stuff. Nice. Very nice. And then nice. I got a cool song to walk down. No. You know. That's where you lost the cockstrong. That's where you lost the last song. I think you could do better. But that's great. There's a chicken dance. I'm cockstrong. Cockstrong. You count them down from three. One and two. Rock solid. Number three. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. But one and two makes three, so you got three. Well, yeah. With Straight, the two right. that you already had. So. 17. <laughs> you also, yeah. I don't know if it's changed, because sometimes wrestling changes a little bit, but last time we talked to you, you were from Parts Unknown. Is yep. that still the case? I, I still don't know where I'm from. <laughs> it's impossible. It's, Do you have a birth certificate? No, wrestlers don't have birth certificates. <laughs> Not one? Is that a prerequisite you know, to be well, a wrestler? Think of Bam Bam Bigelow. Right. He didn't have one. No, right. Uh, the Undertaker, uh, the hell, that's where he came from. You know, but I'm from parts unknown. You don't get, you don't, yeah, he came from hell. You don't, uh, you it's really harder don't... to do this voice now that I don't smoke. That's a lot more, you're, you sound really ominous when you say the parts unknown compared to your normal oh, things you say. Parts so... unknown. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Feels really. Um, <laughs> I didn't know that was a prerequisite to be a wrestler is, is not to have a birth certificate. But now that I really think about it, all the names you named, I have no idea where they're from. Ravishing Rick Rude. Parts on, yeah. Who knows? No, he's not from. He was from Jersey. Okay, so <laughs> not, 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 he's an amateur wrestler then. No, he's dead. Wow. When, you, when you become a dead wrestler. <laughs> it's revealed. Then it, it's revealed. <laughs> it's revealed where you're from only after post-mortem. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Doesn't yeah. that make complete sense? So when I die... Do you ever get nervous? That, oh, sorry. Oh, no, no, no. No, I was no. going to say, do you ever get nervous that people are going to be so curious about where you're from that they're going to kill you? That's a, that's a very that's, good, good... Now I'm a little no, nervous. I'm a little scared. That's a rock solid logic right there. You well, better um, wash your back. Cockroach. I thought she was going to say something like, do you think people are scared of you because you're from parts of... No, she oh, said, no, no, no. do you think people are going to kill you? <laughs> She was complete other way. Wow. Do you think you should be scared of people is what she should have asked. I'm not scared of anybody. I'm cock strong. Prove it. Oh, there it is. All right. I think I ran that to the ground. So, yeah, I'm here. It's genius. I'm, I'm here, and I'm, I'm super excited. Uh, as you know, uh, last time we talked, I was... Um, I just got a job with the MWE. Mexican Wrestling Entertainment. Yes. yes me, yeah. I remember that. And uh, so I've been doing really well with them for the past 70 episodes or so. 70 episodes of what? That's how I quantitate time. That's how oh. we do it here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Episodes. It's been 70, epi- 70 episodes. Like, like my daughter had a birthday oh. yeah, yeah. Uh, 25 episodes ago. Gotcha, That's how gotcha. it is. Okay. So 70 episodes ago. So what have you accomplished seventy since 70 episodes? That's oh, a good question. What have I accomplished? Well... Um, I had three matches, and I I lost all three, but but each time 
I last longer. Like the first match, I lasted 47 seconds. The second match, I lasted 49 seconds. And the last match, I lasted a minute and 12 seconds. That's, that's, that's wow. admirable. You're getting well, better. Yeah, I'd say. Well, Probably the, like 20% the, more. Yeah, well, the last one, because the, when the guy rang the bell, the other guy jumped out, got underneath the, the ring, come back up onto the thing, and he had a chair, and then he hit me with it. I mean... It all takes time. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, but you know what? That's still that's still a better time. Yeah, than I'm, your front. Yeah, I'm doing really really good. That's in the record book. You can, no one can take that away from Nobody you. Nobody can should take. They. I'm 0 and 72 0 in my career. 72. You're due is what that means. Well, and, and you know what? I'm here to tell you that that's going to all change, just like you said. It's my time. I'm due for a big win. When, what are you talking about? What's going to change? Well, you're going to win where? <laughs> Well, there's a big, huge event that I'm going to be part of. It's the Mamanda Extrema. Ma- Mamanda Extrema? Mamanda Extrema. Okay. Mamanda? Yes, Mamanda Extrema. MWE. It's the biggest oh. event in NWE history. Is this like an annual thing, or is this a once in time? Once, is this once a year they do this, or is this a once in a lifetime Yeah, it's a once, a once a year thing. Um, I've never been good enough to be on it for the first three years of my career. But I, you know, they're like, this is your, it's your, your, it's time for you to be the baby face. You have to rack up uh, 72 losses in order to, to get to MWE's <laughs> Yeah, they, they, they tried to make me a heel, um, and that didn't work because I just What's don't. What's a heel? Um, well, a heel is a bad guy the in bad wrestling. Guy. The bad guy. Like the Iron Sheik was a bad guy. Yep, classic. Uh, Ric Flair, for most of his career, has been a heel. Yep. And um, I just didn't have... Donald Trump. Yeah. Heel? Maybe oh. bad guy? Oh, Same he... idea? Well, Donald Trump was not really, not technically a professional wrestler. Oh, okay. He, he grapples in the boardroom, is what he does. Yeah, that's a good pun. Oh, thanks. Mm-hmm. I just came up with that. You know? <laughs> that's kind of what I do here. Just... But, uh, you know, enough about me. I want to talk about Mexican entertainment, or wrestling entertainment. Yes, it's the greatest, it's the second greatest wrestling organization in the world. Second only to what? TNA? Total nonsense. Kiss an ass. ass. No, no. Kiss an ass. That's my favorite. <laughs> I was about to say your name in full, but last time you said, last time you're here, you mentioned your name. Is, is it still changed to El Cox Strongo? El Cox Strongo. El Cox Strongo. Oh, Strongo. oh yeah, okay. Not well, Cox Strong. No, well, everybody knows me as Cox Strong in here, but last time I was on, I, you know, I did, since I went to the Mexican Wrestling Entertainment. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's with El Cockstrongo. El Cockstrongo. Yeah. yeah. You want that name that recognition. That's very feminine. You, you don't want to change it too much because you still want that recognition. Yeah, it's yeah. A branding. Branding. Exactly. Branding. And definitely go with El Cockstrongo because that does make it masculine. Whereas if you did El Cockstronga, uh, then technically yeah. you're or making the whole. La Cockstronga. Yeah, that would be feminine. S- yeah. Mm-hmm. Hella feminine. That's crazy. You don't want to be hella feminine. Yeah. No, I. Did. Well, just depending on whatever you want, it just didn't seem like that's what you were interested in. Well, doing. I know what you want, and I would say that you <laughs> don't want to be feminine in the ring. No, not at all. And I, I'm super excited because on this pay per view, I'm going to be in a bondage match. Bondage. And you said I, it's Mamanda. What do you mean a bondage match? By that. Well, I've heard of steel cages. And yeah, I don't really know much about it. I know there's going to be four other guys in the ring. And okay. yeah. Like a Royal Rumble, it kind of sounds like. It's kind of like a. I asked him, I said, is it like a Royal Rumble? But they don't speak any English. They just said, they just said, no mas. No mas. Did you say, mm-hmm. is it like an L no Royal Rumble? Did you say anything like that? Um, no. I, I, guess. F- I find being stereotypical like that by adding an L or a La in front of something and then putting a, a, a vowel at the end usually gets the point across. Yeah, but you got to be careful with those guys. They're really, really mean. Is that yeah. run by the cartel? Faros. Faros. Is it the cartel? Oh, is it cartel? That's Spanish right? for you, angry. Oh, I thought you said I farted. I farted. <laughs> Jeez. I was like, I did. Heather, I was like, Heather, that's what I heard too. I was like, don't worry. I got this mask on. I can't smell anything. Oh, well, I'm glad because it's awful. And I also, I also, and Biggie, I, I've listened to the show, and I know that you're going to really, really like this. I have a sponsor for my match. Oh, yeah? Who is it? I, uh, Do we, can I talk about my sponsor? sponsor this isn't really – we have our own sponsors. We don't know what this is. I, we, I mean, no, I, I what, guess we can cut it out if we have to. But okay, I would say, well, Big E, you're my, you're my boy. Yeah. <laughs> you, yeah. Uh, you are big. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I think the beard and the tattoos make you look just aggressive. <laughs> anyway, 
So, Shocker E-Liquid. I know you guys have talked about Shocker E-Liquid oh, before yeah, on the show. Yeah. Okay, and yeah. um, they are sponsoring me because they have a new a new, a new, flavor, and it's called The Pleaser. The Pleaser. Mm, now, pleaser. Shocker, before they've, they've come out with, like, the Spocker, the Rocker. Yeah, it's all, like, down, chicka, down, bear, and all different kinds of yeah, hand of, signs. Yeah, right. And, yeah, and so they're like, hey, would you like, to, would you like us to sponsor you? And so, like, on my tights... Oh, on the back of my tights, my little speedo, it's gonna say the pleaser on. The pleaser. Do you happen to have a theme song for your uh, for your for your uh, plug? Okay, there you go. Oh no, I, I'm I'm all messed up. Can I, can I channel I, Dustin? I lost the paperwork. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What? Well, well, <laughs> Two in the pink and one in the stink. I I know what you're saying, and I lost. I don't know. Yeah, who, who knows, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But uh, I know I messed up. Let's, let's go back. So the Pleaser is a brand new flavor from ShockerEliquid.com. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's 70 VG, 30 PG. Mm-hmm. And it's a blueberry cinnamon crumble cake. And I brought some. Mm-hmm. Biggie, I bought some for you to taste. Why don't you take a hit I will take and a see hit. what you think of the Pleaser? Mm. Are you who pleased? Would, look at that. Muy yeah. magnifico. Muy wow, magnifico look at that. is right. Now you know it comes in fifteen or thirty milliliter bottles, uh, but they also have a hundred and twenty milliliter plastic bottle that comes with a thirty milliliter unicorn bottle. Unicorn and bottle. And I know you love the unicorn bottle. Unicorn bottle. So definitely check out Shocker You Look Wood. It's very good. It's got a very the blueberry in. Yes, yeah, cinnamon, cinnamon out. out. For sure. Blueberry. Let's all say it together. One, two, three. Seacrest. Blueberry in. Seacrest. Cinnamon Cinnamon out. out. (laughs) And uh, so, but they have a little slogan too. Can I tell you the slogan? Seacrest out. No, that's not the slogan. Oh, I'm sorry. The slogan is, get your wick a happy ending. Oh, it's like uh, (laughs) euphemism for a penis. No, no. Okay. Like your match is coming out. Okay. okay. Yeah. What? What? What What does that mean? Like your match is coming out, right? Look, I, you know, uh, Cox wrong. I don't know if, how much Heather that you know about professional wrestling. It yeah. does seem semi homoerotic. A lot of oiled up, muscular men, and what appears to be just nothing more than some briefs wrestling around. But yeah. it is an art form. It's a it's a storied oh. legend, especially in the Lucha Libre. From the yeah, Mexican well, I, you know, I went and I bought this mask at the, um, the Halloween store, and I put it on for my first match, and I was excited. And we were at we were at the Douglas County Fair. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I came out on the I came out. And the crowd started booing me. Oh. And they're like, boo, cockstrong sucks. Oh, come on. Yeah. And I'm like, what? How do they know it's me? How did they, I mean, they were right, essentially, that you suck, but how did they know that beforehand? Right. And so it's because I wore a mask and I had not gone through Lucha Libre, Luchador classes. Was that loss number one for you at the Douglas County Fair? Uh, no, no, no. no. I, had lost, I had lost at the infirmary um, in Jacksonville. But this was loss number thirty-seven. I, oh wow! But it was my first one at at the at the uh, MWE. If you're gonna lose anywhere, though, you're gonna want to lose at the Douglas County Fair. Well, you know, it's not bad. It was. It was I, I I I tried to put up a good fight, but twenty-three seconds later, I was gone. <laughs> what's huh. What's the name of the this biggest stravaganza? Mamada Extrema. Mamada Extrema. Mama? What is that? I What's mean, Mamada Extrema? Mamada Extrema. Is that Spanish? Yeah. It, means like ex- it means like extreme blowjob, right? Like, what? Extreme. <laughs> what? Wait, 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 wait. What? I mean, that's, you told me that you were going to be wrestling in a in a you know ring or hanging out with four guys. Yeah, it's going to be a bondage match. I mean, you told us that it was Mamanda. I mean, that, in that? a bondage Why match. You, it's wrestling. What are you I mean, talking but that, about? That's what, that's what blowjob means in Spanish. What Mamanda? Yeah. I, there, there are very subtle differences in in Spanish language. Yeah, I think it's I think just a translation better, yeah. issue. Different, di- it's not, different yeah, dialect I mean, in different no, different parts of the country. No, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure pretty about sure, this. Pretty sure. Yeah. Pretty sure. Man. What, um, yeah. So okay. what have they got so, you roped into? What? Who were the other wrestlers? Yeah. Who are the other wrestlers? Yeah. Who are the well, other names? Uh, the horny toad man is one of them. Okay. Not off to a great start. Um, back in Billy Gunn. Oh. Oh no. Okay. Getting worse. And, um, oh, uh, it's a guy. He's a uh, he's a uh, his, his outfit is a persona is a baseball player. And he's called the pitcher. I think he's called the oh, oh, pitcher honey. Pete. That's it, pitcher, pitcher Pete. Pete. Oh, honey. I mean, you're gonna want to get another mask because you're not gonna do any good cocksucking with that thing on. I got 
I don't, I don't, that's no, no, no. that's what they strong. want you to do when you go in. Yeah, cock you're strong. cock strong no, to strong. have someone else suck that cock if you're going to get in that ring. Huh. But um, why, would, why would they do that at a pay per view? I mean, because they, that's what the, the event is called. I don't think you're, so don't think you're doing a pay per view there, cock strong. I think you're doing a gay porn. Definitely a pay per view. Yeah, Should have gone on certain How much websites. do you know about? I mean, I. I'm with you, Cox Strong. When I heard this, I was like, you've been in the game a long time. I'm you're due. The game. You're going to be in this big event. This is my time to shine. Man, I just thought we had yeah, super You're going you're to shine like a glazed donut when this one's over. Heather's talking about blowjobs. I thought that's, that's kind of yeah. unnecessary. But the more you talk about this match, the more you talk about the people involved, how much do you really know about what you're doing? Because it does sound like she might be on to something. Well, they told me that they would pay me 47 and a half pesos. Mm-hmm. And that I was going to be in a big, big, huge production, which yeah. I just figured was like, you know, they have the pay-per-views every month on WWE. Yeah, okay. So it's a big Nine. production. Um, it was going to be a sellout crowd. Safe to assume. Mm-hmm. And then I was going to be in a bondage match with four guys. Stop the, right there. And Stop the winner, right there. The, win- yep. uh, the winner gets what? what do, yeah, what does the well, winner Let's find get out what the winner gets. It's not well, a cha- the, chastity belt, is it? The, that's crazy. That's exactly. They said I would win the I would win the the MWE Chastity Belt Championship. Do you know Do you know what a Chastity Belt is? Oh yeah, it's one of the, it's a big huge like it's like a big huge gold belt, and it's gonna have the MWE logo on With it. A lock. It's gonna have spikes on it, and it's gonna go around my waist, and I'm gonna come into the arena as the champion. It's essentially to, to keep it on your person. It does go around the waist, but a chastity belt is is kind of from the medieval times to keep people from having sex. So hmm, that's weird. The, the more you talk about this, the more it seems inadvertently clear that uh, sexual acts are on the card for you. Mm-hmm. On the card is that. A, no pun intended? It, no, it's a pun is intended. Oh, Absolutely okay. intended. Wow, I don't know. Should I? I mean, because they told me that I would win the chastity belt, so do I Do I risk my career by not doing this? Mm, yeah, it I... sounds like if you win the chastity belt, that means that you are forever giving blowjobs. And that's, forever? That's the, I forever. mean, not forever, I mean, but at least until that comes off. To, right? win a, to win a match, finally, I'll, give a, I'll suck a guy off. That's fine, but I don't want to do it forever. But for 47 pesos? 47 and a 47 half, and pace. half pace. It translates to like 625 US currency, doesn't it? Yeah. You could just like not oh. get your next sub at Subway and make yeah. that much money. I thought that 47 pesos translated into American money was like $46,000. Mm, oh, no. no. That's not how pesos you, work. Yeah, you're grossly misinformed about every step of this process. No, uh, You know what? I really appreciate that you're coming on here, though. After no, it's okay. Your passion... It really rings true. You, I don't know what did I sign the paper already. I think you should definitely do it. Um, I mean, it, we we are all shocked at the, the misinformation that's going around, but now that things seem, seem to be clearing out, I think you should definitely do it. I, I don't think this is a bad event at all. This sounds horrible. It does you just sound said bad. that you'd be willing to suck some guy's cock, and if that is something that you're willing to affirm, then I mean, I think it's something you should go for. But you really don't have a mask suitable for it. So here's what I suggest, man. If you yeah, go in there and you're not, yeah, if you're not interested in it and you like go there and it's not a good energy, you just say, "Look, my mask doesn't work for this. Sorry, I gotta go." <gasps> I got an idea. It's a I got win an idea. on both sides. So, what if it, before the event happens, I go and underneath the ring, I put a big, long, like mm-hmm. nightstick under there, and if I go, if I if my music starts, what would that sound like? Okay. Okay. So here's the scenario: explosion. I come down, I come down the, the mm-hmm. aisle, the crowd's cheering. Ah, yeah. Cock Strong, I love you! Suck that dick! Back, 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 back. Suck a dick, won't you? Okay, and then I get up there, and things start to look shady like Heather says. Mm. And things start to look shady. What should I be looking for, Heather? How will I know that this is not a real match? Well, it's all inside of you. It really doesn't matter what's going on around you. It all matters how you feel. So if you look around and you say, this isn't a safe, in- I mean, you know what you're coming into now. This is Mamata. This is, this is blowjobs happening. So you know what you're coming into. So if you don't feel good about it, if you look at these guys and you're like, no, no, I don't want any of those heads, then you just walk right out. Then you say, no way, around. Jose. And they're all going to be naked. I'm you say just... no way, Jose. You say no way, no way, Juan. You no say way. no way, Santos. No Jorge. Juan. Jorge. No way, Jose. There's no way, Juan. You, yeah. Pepe. No Pepe. So. No thank you. Man, no mas, you, but no mas. But what if I, what if I have a, a big, huge, long, black nightstick underneath the ring, and I get into the ring, and somebody tries to, like, force, 
their penis into my mask, and then I can just slide underneath the ring and, and, kill it and hit them in the head. With- See, my problem is, is I don't understand really the um, purpose of the blowjob tournament. Is it to get guys off? Is it to get you guys, like, whoever gets off first is a loser, and, like, you beat up the other people, or if it's just, like, an idea of, like, you're trying to evade that sort of thing, or if it's, like, whoever gives the best of it. He is could. the winner. So there's so many. I mean, there's you need to yeah, you need you to don't delve. Even know the rules. Yeah, you, yeah, you, you can't. You need to fucking delve. You don't even know the rules. You didn't even match. know that it was a blowjob. He didn't thing. even know what Mamata. <laughs> uh, I know. Stood, stood you need for. to get some solid friends because <laughs> they would be there you for have you been right led now. Astray. Okay, cock strong. <laughs> Apologies, <laughs> but it's all right. Let's go. Oh, Let him finish. <laughs> okay. This is this is this is, this is I'm gonna lay it out for you because we're we're buddies. We go back all the way to some would say episode 120. <laughs> this is absolutely a um, some sort of sexual competition that you are now in. If you've signed the contract, then just go through with it. If this is a sanctioned match where you can win, you need, you need that win. I need the win. Need so the I would say literally suck it up. And get out there and do your best. Be all the cock strong you can be, and don't bitch about it. If if there's a way to get out of it and you don't want to do it, then get out of it. But you're gonna miss that win, and you're not gonna get that chastity belt. I'm Show how life. strong your cock is. This I'm is the life you've chose. I'm gonna do it, guys. There you do go. It, I'm gonna buddy. do it. There you go. I'm gonna buddy. do this. Yes. It's gonna be cock. How cock strong is victory? There we go. Yes. Oh boy, and, and just Ariba. And, and just like that, Ariba. he's gone. I'm the land, the land, the land. Goodbye, everybody. Wow. I'll see you next time. This is the Ness, the Chelsea Belt Champion of the World. All right. And the, hey, Heather, Biggie, that there is exactly why he's the most repeat guest on this show. That's motherfucking what? spirit if I've ever heard it. What flair. Um, I, w- I wanted a couple things I want to hit before we get into the actual show. Um, first, and, and this might cause Heather to call me an asshole. Uh, Heather, um, we have to do a retraction um, okay. on the la- uh, one of the last episodes. You gave out some false information false. to um, to our listeners. Uh, you said there was over two thousand nerve endings in the the, the hoo ha. I did. The I did. Um, this is our retraction. And yeah, and then come to find out, there's eight thousand. I mean, technically, that's over 2,000. That's nearly twice as many. That's <laughs> definitely quite over 2,000. But uh, that's. But yeah, it's definitely much more. That's a fourth of what you were predicting. Well, I think that means 